YouTube. Got a turbo truck in the back. As you can see, I'm looking dusty, but who give a damn? Anyway, man, I'm working on my drive shaft right about now, and I'm going to show y'all. After a whole nightmare on this drive shaft, we will get it complete in this video. So stay tuned all the way through. If you new, join the garage. Consider joining the garage. If you return to subscribe, like, comment, man, let me know. Man, we got the drive shaft done. Finally, we got the right slip yoke everything apparently I had a wrong slip yoke and it was not fitting my 447 move that i had which is the u joint but we finally figured it out and i was just talking about other things with the tahoe that we apparently need to get done so you will see down in the future so guys it is the next day we got our 447 u joint so we're going to end up putting this thing on so after getting the right correct slip yoke i did had to get a 447 u joint just the caps because my original ones was missing the spawns inside so guys so far so good everything is going good with the slip yoke um and i'm really excited uh about it um i need to push it down a little bit so we can be able to put the new c clips in then we got to put the nipple on there where it's uh greasable on here and we're going to actually slap her in and I might end up trying to do little stuff so I can get this truck done. Um, but so far, so good. And what, let me know what y'all think about me painting this red. Look pretty sick. Guys, this is so satisfying too. Like. So guys, I'll put the first seat clip in. Now I'm gonna turn it over and press it in on the other side. So we can uh, have, let's say the same. Can you see we barely have room to put the inner C clip, so yeah. Now we are pressing down. I think we made it. This probably just need to go down. So guys, I am gonna be putting the C clips in for the caps instead of the nylon injected whatever you want to call it from factory this is so much easier and so much simpler too all right been at the drive shaft is complete i'm finna go um get the seal for the back of the trans put that in and uh put the what's the name of it so yeah all right guys we got the original seal right here we verified that the seal fit over the slip yoke so what i'm gonna use is some uh, transmission fluid and a uh, little bit around here so it can be easier and by the way what i like about trucks well this truck in particular i don't have to use any lift so this is the before from the big boy 4l80 all the way to my stock diff. I was gonna do uh, work on it by changing the gear, gearing, but I'm gonna do that for the second time. This is the first stage, second stage, bigger cam, probably change the heads, little stuff like that, but. All right, so guys, I think they make a tool where you probably get like a little PVC or whatever. I'm gonna leave it like that. Hopefully it will. I'm gonna put y'all right there. So this part right here was a pain, but you have to go really slow around. But me, I was make, I was taking big shots at it and I ended up getting it in uh, towards the end. But uh, it is what it is. But you do wanna try to put a shit in firm and then go all around so it can go in easy. And like I said, PVC uh, will help also hopefully this work guys let me know if i'm doing it right because i'm probably i'm probably doing it wrong Super 
So guys, I had to put this rear main seal. This was a bit in the pain of the ass, but I ended up getting it on there. Got it a little dented, but it'll be fine. Uh, we made sure she was on there. I'm gonna go around it one more time and make sure she's snug. Okay guys, so this is the dry staff. We made sure everything was good. We got our caps on. I had to change this because the original caps, I had lost it. So uh, yeah, it's pretty good, but damn. I forgot about one thing. I do have to put the nipple on here for the grease. Um, Cause this is greasable, so yeah, I have to put that on. So guys, we got our grease fitting on, as you can see. We got our yoke on. So guys, after trial and error, we finally got it attached, but we need to put our, um, I don't know, we need to put our bracket on so we can officially say it's done. You guys, look how neat. Now we gotta do is just run our cooler. And I might run it towards back this way. And it's gonna be like in this area right here. That's where my cooler gonna be at. Now, if I had a pickup truck, I would have run it. I would have put it on the back side of the, uh, the bed, which would have been cool. Guys, y'all know how satisfying it feel like to be at this point. Like, I think the drive shaft had really got me, especially with the slip yoke having the weight and then yeah, the slip yoke, but it ain't rocket science now. Honestly, after getting it done, it wasn't bad. And everything fit perfectly too, which I'm really surprised. I know when the, tr well, the truck is fully on the ground. I wonder if it's gonna flex. You know how the car will squat. Um, I wonder if the drive shaft. I don't know. We'll see. So, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, well, enjoyed the video of me putting a drive shaft in. Man, we are getting a step closer. Uh, we just gotta add a fan. Uh, I might get a Dorelli or like one of them Amazon uh radiator fans. Y'all let me know. Um. Should I run it like towards the back, like I said, or run it up front? I might end up running towards the back anyway. Um, and yeah, we got real close. So I just gotta do a little small stuff. We gotta get a dipstick. Um, we gotta wrap the all the exhaust stuff. So it's gonna be pretty fun, interesting. Still gotta get the boost gauge and fuel injectors. I'm planning on getting uh, a vacuum block. I've been doing a lot of research and it seems way easier. And I know how to hook it up now. Uh, I was kind of like worried about that part, but I have it. So once I guess I get the boost gauge and the little uh, thing they provide, it'll be pretty fun um, to hook it up. But anyway, uh, I am finna go work. Um, so, when I get home, I'll probably work more and all that. So, hey, man, I'm really excited, man. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, whether you're watching it day or night. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm excited. Tahoe getting close. Uh, I think the biggest part for me, uh, I was kind of stressing about was the dry shaft because I got the wrong yoke. But I had a correct U joint, which is the 447 move. And I ordered another U joint that I thought would work, but apparently it didn't. So, and my cap was missing the, uh, I guess the little spines or whatever inside. So I had to buy a new one. It was fairly cheap. So, uh, yeah.
But anyway, that would be it, man. If you, like I said, new to the channel, join. If you return it, man, um, share, like, and uh, thank y'all. See y'all. Have a great day. Yeah, you have a great day. And I'm finna have a great day too. See.